Again, family, these are the faces that were showing up. Who is it? Okay. Now, you look at these Africans right here. They got on helmets. Okay. You ain't never seen a, a Indian or, you know, a Peruvian or something like that. Uh, Taino or something with no helmet on. Okay. But you got ones down there. They got a helmet on. How helmet off. Okay. And he got nappy hair. Okay. Again, like this video. You see what I'm saying? Like the video. Now, look right here. The La Chebas Costello de Tiopio Ethiopio. Okay? Which is Latin. Okay? See, this means the first Egypt uh, Ethiopians in the Americas. This was a uh, a paper. They came out in Mexico when they first found the Omex statues. That's just a fact. See what I'm saying? Now, you match this face, okay, with this, uh, with the Omex face. When you match this face with the Omex face, it look exactly the same. See what I'm saying? But I got more proof. Here we go from the side. You see everything that I read to y'all the other day, the, the uh, crispy, crinkly, uh, woolly hair, the guy hair. Wide nose, okay, big lips, skin brown, uh, yellow, red, and triple black. See what I'm saying? This That's it right there. When you read that description, it, it fit the people. See what I'm saying? And then it ain't like it's just one recreation of the same statue. It got different facial features with some of them smiling. You see what I'm saying? You got one that's smiling. They got two big buck teeth in the front. You can see that these people are totally different people because all the Omex are not African. Okay? But the Omex civilization is the oldest civilization in all of the Americas. Okay? Down in Levanta. Okay? In Mexico. This is where these was found. And you can say what you want. See what I'm saying? I'm teaching what the elders taught. See what I'm saying? They killed that fake Aborigine Goofy, okay? They killed it because if we can show where Africans came to this country, nobody had to, uh, the ability of shipbuilding at that time, okay? At that time, nobody. You talk about 3000 BC. Nobody was on the water except for the African. And they left these heads just like when people, the United States go, and you know, like they went to the moon and they left their flag there. So when somebody pull up there, know that they done been there. It's the same process with the Omeg head. This site in Levanta dating back to 12, 1200 BC. That's before, that's 1200 years before the time of Christ. See what I'm saying? See, see, now look. Uh, BC brought to the light, okay, of most uh projective finds in all of Mexico. Uh huh. An enormous sculpted basalt head with distinctly Negroid features that still puzzle archaeologists to this day. The heads are con uh, attributed to the Omex, often called the spark. The spark. Okay, of civilization in Mesoamerica, in all of the America, it's the oldest site in the Americas before any Mayans or any of that. The igniters of the creativity blossoming that spread to other cultures. See what I'm saying? However, the unique style, okay, and uh, cycle, okay, of features of the Omeg heads were uh, never imitated, okay? And they remain a mystery. No, it ain't. The heads were never imitated because the people who had left them there was gone. They didn't stay around. There is no Omec bones, okay? Where, where, I always ask this question, where are the tools, okay, that they used to build in Levento? See, or in any Omec capital or any, even the Mayan capitals, where are the tools? You don't have the tools. You don't even got the capability, okay, to float them, you know, large heads 
down, you know, the river. Okay? See what I'm saying? They made out of bath salt, too. Where the Show me the closest bath salt mine, okay, in Mexico. Okay? That's near these sites. They not there. They not there. Them bath salt heads was bought there. Show it to me. Show me the bath salt where they cut the heads out. You can't show it. Like, when you go to, to, to the Nile Valley, you can see in the in the mountain where they been cutting out ovulus sisters and uh, unks or whatever. You can see where they done been scoping it out of the rock. You can't show me that nowhere in, in the Americas where you can see where they done scoped it out some Omeg heads because they it wasn't done over here. Now, right now in Ethiopia, okay, Ethiopia sent the Omeg head, I mean, Mexico sent the Omeg head to Ethiopia, okay, a replica of one. Why did he do it? The point is, why did he do it? For one, he know that the Omex are Ethiopians. Okay? Now, it's a French uh, explorer in here. And he said, when he was coming across the water, the Ethiopians was passing him, leaving the Americas. Okay? And he said the Indians told him, even way into the 1300s, that... Africans, Ethiopians was trading in gold tip metal spears. I'm talking about throwing spears. Okay? Look right here. Here all the OMAC capitals down in Mexico. See what I'm saying? It wasn't just one or two. This right here culture spread from Mesoamerica all through South America and Central America. Okay? And it came from Africa because all of the, if you look at all of the sites, for one, they on the coast. And the door is facing towards Africa. Why? What what use would you build a door? I mean, uh, you know, your house right showing right to you're not gonna do that. See what I'm saying? They that's showing you that they came from somewhere else. See, in the Nile Valley, it's the same way. All the uh monuments is pointing south. You see what I'm saying? Down north. See what I'm saying? Cause really, you know. North is south is uh and south is uh north. You see what I'm saying in the Egyptian. See what I'm saying? Now, again, there go Rod One right there. There go a real photo of it. There they go right there selling. See? Now this right here is the oldest uh depiction of a boat. Okay, now this right here was found in Egypt. Okay. Down by Sudan, southern Egypt, but it's the oldest depiction of a boat in a, in the world. Okay, and you can see, you know, they floating. You see, like it's in motion. You see what I'm saying? And they on the water. See now, they cross the sea yet again. Talk about the Ethiopian. This is in uh Sicily. They cross the sea yet again in these trendy vessels and their coat was spread abroad. Okay. They had merchants and sellers who all worship who all worship uh, this uh, God of the sea and the protector of seafaring men. Okay. See wherever they went in Trisilla Dungeon's Houston book uh, the wonderful Ethiopian Empire. Everywhere the Africans went, they was going around teaching Nile Valley history. Everywhere they went. That's why when you go, like I read to y'all, we come from Africa and Southeast Asia. That's why our people's at the nappy heads I'm talking about. Okay. Now, everywhere you go in the only on your anchor white, you know, any Africa, West Africa, uh of the Americas, all in between Asia, you can see that it's the same Nile Valley culture, the Middle East, all it. You will see that it's all still the Nile Valley culture, which proven, just like this right here, say, everywhere they went, they spread their coat abroad. You see what I'm saying? Everywhere they went, they, they spread their coat. See what I'm saying? Here go another model right here. You see the brothers on the ship. You don't need no big ship like this to, to travel you know, across the Mediterranean or across the Red Sea or something. That's nothing. You can do that in a little weed boat. Why did they make these giant ships, though? That proves they was in deep, deep water. Now, this right here is the origin of the alphabet, okay, that 
uh, cult that they talking about, they were spreading around. This one part of it, okay, which was reading and writing, okay, ink pen, okay, paper, okay, papyrus, okay. This is what they were spread. See what I'm saying? You can see where the ancient Nile Valley, uh, the first three, see what I'm saying? They say Phoenician, but that's still the Nile Valley, okay. Then you see right here the uh. American, okay? Latin, then America, okay? You got the Latin, then you got the American. You see where they got it from, okay? Right here, though, you see on the uh, left is Nile Valley, okay? On the right is the Mayan language. Is this the same type of language? So these people got over in Asia, India, uh, Pakistan, all through Asia, and then you come all the way over here in America, they got all the same culture. Now, how did they do that? They had to be on them ships and they was traveling. They ran into the Nile Valley African. They taught the world. You go read Trusilla Dungeon Houston book, you will see where the Kushites, the Africans were everywhere. Okay, they went to every country before anybody ever been there. Now, I know Aborigines, them, they didn't even exist. Okay? See, they didn't the Cheddar Man and all, they didn't even exist. I'm talking about a time when People were still primitive. You see what I'm saying? Africans, okay, already had universities and everything. See what I'm saying? Look right here. These old photos, family. You see the Mayan on the left, then the uh, Ethiopian, Egyptian language on the right. It's the same writing style. See what I'm saying? And your history always going to begin with writing. See what I'm saying? This bust that right there. See what I'm saying? Now, look. This man right here, you he can tell that it ain't him, okay? And he see like, well, how did they make these ships and they supposed to be some savages or what? Nah, this is how these people think. They think we incapable of thinking for ourselves. You see what I'm saying? They think they were the first to do everything. And then the, the, the more deeper into history and archaeology they go, the blacker you get, the more African they get. That, so they don't stop digging everywhere now they only be digging in Egypt because if and think about that if 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 Greece and got and Rome and all of them was so great what you still digging in Africa for why you ain't looking for your ancestors since they so great stop it bro they already know we the greatest before Europeans or anybody else ran into an African they had to sail all the way around okay the maps that the Moors took they got them from the Ethiopians the, when the Moors went into to, into Spain in uh what uh 1492 or whatever, they took maps. They ain't just take soap and all that. They took maps too. So the maps that Christopher Columbus and uh Marco Polo and all of them got. Okay, a Mario Vespucci. Okay, these niggas be talking about well, Africa named after uh. Superior Africanus. No, it's not. No, it's not. But America is named after Amerio Vespucci, though. See what I'm saying? So we can debunk whatever y'all talking about. But before them Europeans got them maps, they used to have to sail all the way around Africa to get somewhere. See what I'm saying? But the Moors, when they took in the 1300s or whatnot, and they took them maps up in there, see what I'm saying? And when they, no, they kicked them out in 1492, and they said that they was losing a great culture. Go watch the movie 1492. See what I'm saying? The culture that they brought was now Valley culture. That's just a fact. That's just a fact. See what I'm saying? And the religion was Muslim, okay? But the culture that they brought was the Nile Valley. That's just a fact. See, this right here is the knot. The word na is an Egyptian word where they get the uh, word navigation from. Now, if you look at the word navigation, what do we start with? N-A, na, which is the origin, the ancient Egyptian origin of the GPS. Okay, you see these brothers, right? These is old photos. I can't even find them no more. You see the brothers, they loading up on the ship. Okay, they using the stars, the navigation system. Uh, what they call the navigation system today. On star. See what I'm saying? Sirius. Sirius, which is Osiris. See what I'm saying? All of that is ancient Egyptian technology. See what I'm saying? That's just a fact. 
See what I'm saying? Go watch the movie, unexplained. I mean, watch the video I done, unexplainable technology in ancient Egypt. And it's just unexplainable. I couldn't even explain it. But you see at the bottom, they're getting on the ship, they loading the ship up, then they using the stars, the nettles, okay, in the sky to travel. And how did the slaves travel when they escaped the plantation? The night, the stars, the navigation system. See, I know you ain't know that. I know for a fact you didn't know that. Now, hold up. But the not. And so when you look at this situation, throw a higher dog on the other video like that, this one, and go like that one. Watch both of them. Watch the other one first, and then you're supposed to watch this one. But you seen throw a higher dog. Prove that they could have easily done it. It ain't take them with two trips to do it. See, we ain't take no long time. It ain't take them two trips to go from Morocco all the way to America. Okay? And so that proved that they could do it. But if you go study Chancellor Williams' work, if you go study Ivan Van Sertima's work, Renoko Rashidi, uh, Dr. Ben, Dr. Clark, they all going to give you some of this, you know, the Nile Valley Africans transversing the Atlantic. That's just a fact. That's just a fact. And you could say what you want, but I rose with what the elders say. Can't nobody living today, nobody, I'm black, white, whatever you is, young, old, nobody living today had a mind like those brothers that I just named. You couldn't dare get up on the stage with one of them and try to battle them. What's the date on this? You ain't going to damn know. He going to be sitting up there just teaching you. Dr. Clark say, and I'm going to end right here. Dr. Clark say, I only debate equals. Everybody else is just a student. You just a student. So I ain't no debating this right here. You can say what you want, but you go down there to Mexico, the Mexicans are going to tell you that these are Ethiopians and they came across the Atlantic. That's the same nigga. I'm like, them is, them, that's y'all. That you, you. He going to be pointing at you. That you. He going to be pointing at the statue. You, you, you. I'll show you the video. Give me another time and I will. All right, family. Got another video. Y'all meet me over there on the throne. I'll be over there in a minute. Ja pop. Be, be king.